Okay, here it is. Finally completed the multi-tiered automatic wheat farm. And oh my god, what a waste of resources. <laughs> I got hold on, hold on. I got a great acronym for this one. The unnecessarily resource intensive nourishment emitter or urine. Oh god, seriously, never build this. Pugnation. Oh, he's so majestic. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Pugnation here. In the last episode, we transported our majestic king of sheep through the dangers of the nether into this idyllic plains biome, which will be the future site of, I don't know, a giant awesome castle or something. The, the nation, the pug nation, the pug national cathedral. Uh, I think I'll have like a village or something here and a castle. I might build it on top of that awesome looking mountain that has lava spewing out of the side. Look at this. Look at this. Boom. Lava oozing out of the side of that mountain. This lava oozes awesomeness. Yeah, I think I need to build something awesome up there. But anyways, like I said in the last episode, we were going to go ahead and build a sheep pasture out here. And we are going to do that. But I was thinking, I'm running out of food already here. And I only have like a tiny little wheat farm. And you're saying, well, isn't that good enough for you? No! No! You know me by now. You should know that we overdo everything. So we're going to... Whoa. There must be like a cave right here. Ah! I hear you guys. I hear you. No, we are going to build kind of an automated wheat farm and maybe a tree farm on top of that. Because what's better than an automatic wheat farm? A wheat farm with a tree blah, 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 with a tree farm on top. Exactly. Well, anyways, uh, I'm going to build kind of a tiered automatic wheat farm design. Tiered as in multiple levels, not as in I'm crying from how awesome it is. Although you will be doing that as well. Oh man, I love this warehouse. I love it! Gotta actually build the building around it, but we'll get to that. Those are details. Alright, so let's go ahead and build it. Uh, yeah, look right here. That'll be fine. And then we're gonna have the drops fed into this warehouse. Probably just into this chest. Maybe I'll put in a little sorter so I can separate the wheat from the seeds. That'd be pretty cool. But anyways, this wheat farm is kind of necessary because in order to build my giant sheep pasture, I'm gonna need a lot of wheat. So kind of a necessary and natural thing to do so let's go ahead and pick this this area is fine we'll do it right here clear out some of these trees all right so this is going to be a pretty compact design it's going to be built vertically and not horizontally so we don't have to clear out too much uh, as a matter of fact this is probably enough uh, i'm just going to make it an eight by eight so let's see we need to get some dirt we're going to need lots of dirt. We're going to need stone bricks, which I have. Awesome. We're going to need some of this iron. You'll see why. I'm going to need some of this wood. Again, you'll see why. And uh, redstone. We'll worry about that later. And what was I talking about? Oh, dirt. Yeah, lots of dirt, of course. Duh. Probably actually going to need more dirt than that. Oh, well. All right. So we're going to make it an 8 by 8 eight and we're going to surround it all by stone bricks so that it looks awesome <laughs> so we'll start laying down the dirt right now right there that's a good spot one two three four five six seven eight by eight two three four five six seven eight and we'll surround this whole thing with stone bricks all right, and there we go. And that's what one level is going to look like. So let's see. Let's build an infinite water source real quick, just so I don't have to keep running back and forth to fill these buckets up with water. We'll need these. All right, perfect. And we're going to put just water channels in on either side here because these will keep our crops hydrated. And I'm going to put half slabs over these, over this water, which will make sense in a minute. But this is necessary to have these half slabs here. These need to be here. Whoops. Like that. Ah, I keep blocking it. Ah! All right, and we're going to need a bunch of... Oh, my gosh. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> there we go. All right, so those are covered up. But that'll keep the crops here hydrated. All right, so we need a bunch of dispensers. And we need to eat. 
Uh, <laughs> Alright, we need a bunch of dispensers. So we're gonna make a bunch of redstone. And here we go. Ah. Wow, yeah, I hear ya, I hear ya. What, you haven't been fed in weeks? I don't care. I don't care. Stop complaining. You will get what's given to you. I gotta make a house for all these pets, too. The poor guys have been sitting out here forever. Oh, do I want droppers or do they need to be dispensers? Uh, I think they can be droppers, but I'm not sure. Oh, well, we have 64 droppers now. <laughs> and... Surprise! It's done! The urine is completed! Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, this was supposed to be a longer episode, but given the uh, professional studio recording company that is Pugnation 12, I recorded like an hour of footage for this episode, and it didn't capture any of my audio. Like, none of it. So it's literally, I have like two hours of footage that's just me derping around, and... Yeah, so <laughs> I guess instead of showing you the build, I'm just going to show you what it is and what it does. So here it is, a completed project. It is three levels, uh, eight by eight dirt. Actually, it's eight by seven. It comes out seven. There's glowstone here so that the lower tiers will all be uh, lighted. Otherwise, with the low light level underneath this roof, they wouldn't grow. Um, those are all dispensers back there, not droppers. They can't be droppers. They have to be dispensers because droppers will just spit out a bucket of water. They won't actually spit out a source block of water. Um, so when that receives a redstone pulse, water will come out and push all these crops down here into that channel. That channel then feeds the crops into that hopper. Uh, similar mechanism to the Sam's Ass Pits mining system that I have. I... I have terrible, terrible acronyms. Oh my god, guys. Uh, similar to the Sam's Ass Pit system. Oh man, say that ten times fast. <laughs> the items that are funneled into there are uh, sent via a hopper minecart to the warehouse. And I will show you that now. It's pretty awesome, actually. This is incredibly resource intensive. That's the just the thing about this. It's so resource intensive. Every each one of these is a dispenser. Um, every dispenser takes uh, what is it? A redstone dust, uh, seven cobblestone, and a bow, which are is pretty relatively resource uh, intensive. All the redstone that's required to do it, and then all the iron. So you need to have a bucket of water into each of these. Uh, so that's three iron a pop. So it's pretty expensive. Now, I'm sure there's a way I could use less than an entire row of uh, dispensers and still get this to work. This isn't optimized by any means, but you know what? I had so many resources from digging out that mine that I can afford to just blow them on something stupid like, like the urine here. So anyways, let's see it in action. So I had to build its own um, little special dock here, yeah, check this out. Hit button to urinate your crops. This is so gross. Oh my gosh. But <laughs> but anyways, okay, I already harvested it once off camera to test it out. But when we hit this, it's going to send a redstone pulse over there, which is going to... Yes, good, it's working. I'd be embarrassed if it wasn't. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Look at all those drops just raining down. That's actually pretty awesome. And of course, you could build as many tiers as you want. There's really no limit to this. Those will all go into this hopper where they'll get spit out and transported by a hopper minecart over to here. And through this wall, there's just an automatic unloading station that I covered up in this hill. It's very similar. It's actually identical to what I have here for the Sam's Ass Pits. And if we take a look inside, we should see this slowly fill up with seeds and wheat. And hopefully it doesn't make a liar out of me. <laughs> All right, and some time later, it does take some time for the hopper mine, or rather, for the drops to make, uh, make themselves down to where the hopper mine card is. This will start loading up with seeds and with wheat. And behind the scenes, all that's happening is whoop, there it goes. 
Wait a second, this cart will come back. Oops. Oh, I pushed it back. No. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so you see this wheat is being unloaded into here, and once that cart's emptied, it'll be pushed back down to pick up the rest of the items. And that's it! There you go! There's the urine, the whole thing! The urine with the Pugnation item transportation system. Pretty, pretty awesome! Huge waste of resources. I'm sure there are more efficient ways to do it. That is certainly not optimized, but, uh... Yeah, guys, if you'd like to see the actual build, I'm sorry I lost that film. Uh, or I lost the audio from that film, I should say. If you'd like to see that build, let me know. I could make a tutorial of this, and in the tutorial, I could also find ways to optimize it and make it a little bit less resource-intensive, so it'll be a little bit more useful for your own Let's Build Worlds or your own uh, creations. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and you would like to see more like it. Uh, and... Also, check out my new uh, server videos. There's going to be, I'm very excited that I will be on the Cranky Craft server, and I've already filmed a couple episodes from that. It should be coming out soon. Definitely check those out, and I will see you all very soon.